presentation I would like to teach you all the parts of guitar, the tuning of guitar, strumming, different kinds of method, how, to, how do you place a chord, solos and basic lessons. of guitar let me start with the this is called the stock guitar stock and these are called the keys this is called the neck This white small thing is called the nut. So this is called the sound board. This is called the sound hole where sound has been produced from the guitar. These are strings in a the guitar. There are six strings. This is the bridge of the guitar. And this is the strap holder. And this is called the plectrum. They are used for picking. guitar. So I'll start with the first string which is E string. The first string is the E string. The second string is the B string. The third is the G string. is the D string. And the fifth string is the A string. And the sixth is the lower E. detune this guitar right now now all 
many strings are detuned right now. So you can't play, it will sound very bad. So initially I am keeping this 6th string as my reference, the concert pitch. So look carefully and learn how to tune this guitar right now. I am placing my finger on the 5th fret. And I am using the 5th string to tune it to the 6th. Look, they should, they should sound equally. Now, take the fifth string, same like how you press the fifth fret, play the fourth string, open. Again, it should sound equal to the fifth string. Now, same, just transfer the same stuff to the third string. So when you're going to tune the second string, there's a little change in this actually. You have to play the fourth fret of the third string. And play the second open. string which is the E string you have to use the fifth fret of the second string then play a chord and check it out how is it teach you all the strumming pattern for an acoustic guitar. Now this is my student Nishant. Hi. So Nishant, I'll start with C. Okay. Now I'm going to strum first. Look and look at my right hand, the way I strum it. I'll do it slowly for you initially. Nishant how to strum. So Nishant, this is called down stroke and this is called up stroke. See they sound different. open they sound very odd at the time. see see this one two three four let us hear one two three four third and fourth up up so yeah Be 
like twice. No, like this. First time, right? full, full. Now the same thing applied to the G chord, which is made like this. One, two, three, four. together like uh, like a cycle you know for your left hand. Let me start. This is called chromatic. Let me start the exercise with the open E string. The first string is the E string. So Nishant, let me start teaching you how to do the exercise. On the first string, E string. Okay? You transfer the same thing to the second string, which is a B string. Second string, second string, yeah. It's a B string. Transfer the same exercise. So you have to practice the same method in all the other strings also. So you take the third one now. Same the fourth string. Fifth string. Sixth string. So this exercise will make your fingers a little, you know, smooth, more easier to play, 
uh, you won't get no much of strain you know stress on the fingers they they become they do become more flexible when you're playing solos so and um, this is one of the most important exercise in a guitar the basic exercise the second one it goes like this i'm going to play it on the c major scale I wanted to play the same stuff which I just played now. It goes to this C D E F G A B C. Once more slowly. Was it? a little more let, let, like let's see how it's going to happen i will teach you all the other exercise which is also very good in the old way let me start it with same c major c major c e d e f e g f a g b left hand finger okay first use your index finger second index finger drop more the c and the e the c and the e second is your ring finger on the d Place your middle finger on F. Place your next finger on E. Place your pinky finger on G. Yeah. Place your middle finger on F. Place in the index finger to A. 
Where's your ring finger? No, not not the pinky finger. Your ring finger. Yeah, on G. Place your middle finger to B. Place your index finger on A. Place your ring finger on B. Not no, on B. Yeah, on B. Place your pinky finger on C. So slowly, look at me. See. faster so this is the kind of you know it sounds different and nice and uh, which also definitely makes your finger more comfortable for many other songs, uh, you know, all complicated kind of songs also. So these scales are very, very essential for you to learn. Now let's see how to play the chords. Now let me start with D, C. G and A probably yeah so because these these three four chords are three to four chords are very easy and simple to play check it out this is called the D place your middle finger F sharp your ring finger on D that's on second string index finger on the third string which is A now let me go to C place your ring finger on C this is the lower fifth Place your middle finger to the fourth string. This is called E. Place your index finger to C. On the second string. Now I'm going to teach you all G chord. Place your middle finger to the sixth string. It's the third fret. G. Place your index finger to B. Fifth string, second fret. Use your ring finger on the second string onto the third fret, which is D. Your pinky finger to the first string, which is a G. Now uh, I am going to teach you all how to strum these chords in form.
Nishant, I want to play all the chords. I'm doing a D, G. First, let's start with D. Start with D. 